जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स हाव यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल नाउ इन द सेकेंड मॉड्यूल ऑफ द मेकिंग ऑफ द नेशनल मूवमेंट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एडवेंट ऑफ महात्मा गांधी इट वॉज द टाइम वेन इन एटीन हंड्रेड नाइन्टी फाइव नेटल कांग्रेस वॉज स्टेबलाइज टू फाइट रेशियल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन इन साउथ अफ्रीका and mahatma gandhi at the age of 46 he arrived in india in 1915 from south africa having led indians in that country in non violent marches against racist restrictions he was already a respected leader and known internationally so his south african campaigns had brought him in contact with the various types of indians such as hindus muslims parsis christians gujaratis tamils and north indians as well and even the upper caste uh, upper class merchants lawyers workers so initially when mahatma gandhi reached in india in the first year he traveled throughout the country and understood the people and their needs and overall situation his earliest interventions were in local movement in champaran kheda and ahmedabad where he came into contact with rajendra prasad and ballabhai patel in ahmedabad he led a successful meal worker strike in 1800 1918 now in the coming topics we will talk about the important movements that were organized between 1919 to 1922 First, we will talk about the Rawalpindi Satyagraha. In 1919, Gandhi ji gave a call for the Satyagraha against the Rawalpindi Act, and the British had just passed. The Act curbed fundamental rights such as the freedom of expression and strengthened police powers. Mahatma Gandhi, Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and other felt that the government had no right to restrict people's basic freedoms. they criticized the act as devilish and tyrannical gandhi ji asked the indian people to observe on 6th april 1919 as a day of non violent opposition to this act as a day of humiliation and prayer or uh, and a strike satyagraha sabhas were set up to launch the movement the raulit satyagraha turned out to be the first all india struggle against the british government although it was largely restricted in several to the cities in april 1919 there were a number of demonstrations and hartals in the country and the government used brutal measures to suppress them the jallianwala bag atrocities inflicted by gov general dyer in Amritsar on Baisakhi day were a part of this repression on learning about this massacre Ravindranath Tagore expressed the path the pain and the anger of the country by renouncing his knighthood but we should know what is knighthood knighthood was a kind of honor which was provided by the british crown for exceptional personal achievement or public services now we will talk about khalifat agitation the khalifat issues was one such cause that in 1920 british imposed a harsh treaty on the turkish sultan or khalifa people were furious about this as they had been about the jallianwala bag massacre also indian muslims were keen that the khalifa be allowed to retain control over muslim sacred places in the erstwhile ottoman empire the leaders of the khalifat agitation mohammad ali and shaukat ali now wished to initiate a full fledged non cooperation movement and gandhi ji supported their call and urged the congress to campaign against punjab wrongs jallianwala bag the khalifat wrong and demand swaraj now it was the time for non cooperation movement that gained momentum through 1921 to 
thousands of students left government controlled schools colleges many lawyers such as motilal nehru c r das raja gopalachari and asaf ali gave up their practices british titles were surrendered and legislatures boycotted as well people lit public bonfires of foreign cloth the imports of foreign clothes fell drastically between 1920 to 1922 but all this was merely the tip of iceberg the large parts of the country were on the brink of a formidable revolt so this much only in this module now for the next module please stay tuned thank you jai hind